Philly, Philly, what it is, what it do, baby? Your boy, Mommy Duffy, you're back in the biddy to come holla at you. <laughs> yeah, I like what my boy, how we doing, baby? I love it. I love it. Bringing in two defensive tackles to beef up an already stacked D-line. Defensive, ta defensive tackle spot specifically, you know, as Joy Davis is out, as he's sitting out from injury, you know, we bring in two guys, one with championship experience, so he understand, and he know how a championship team look in Sioux, and bringing in Linville Joseph, damn, I love it. It's just low key, low key, just a smidge, just a smidge. It's starting to feel like 2017 all over again, because back in 2017, we brought in Ajayi to help us bring us over the top as we was able to run the ball down team, still so running back by committee. And we bring in someone else in the middle of the year, that, that played an intricate role into into the season, into our championship run. And now we're bringing in two defensive tackles that can definitely have our D-tackle rotation. Oh man, that rotation is gonna be something serious, baby. You got Milton Williams, you got Hargrave, Fletch, Linville Joseph, Indominus Sue, and when Jordan Davis come back, Jordan Davis, oh man. We got a lot of space eaters. We got a lot of space eaters, guys that can get penetration and get after the quarterback. Damn, I love it. I love every moment of it. How we keep doing what you damn doing. And now we got a name Monday Night Recap. Just just a quick little recap, man, of Monday Night Game. I how can I say this? Hmm. I like that we lost. I like it because it it, it lets me know. One, I knew that, I knew from the jump, and I told plenty of people that I wanted us to lose. It didn't have to be against against the Redskins, um, excuse me, against the Commanders, but I knew that we was going to lose. I wanted us to lose because one, as, as I understand and I know the game of football, we have to have some type of adversity. We gotta know how we're gonna bounce back. Are we one of the teams that's gonna get down or are we one of the teams that's gonna lay down? And we seen that we ain't one of the teams that's gonna lay down when, when we hit in the mouth. We gonna get down. But you know, unfortunately, you know, we came out on the other side on the other side of it with an L. It's cool, it is what it is, it's part of the game. It it, it, it it's gonna happen. It, but how we lost is I don't believe that this is gonna happen again. You know, we having three, four turnovers, you know. Coming into the game, we only had three turnovers for the entire season, so that in itself is not gonna happen again. You know, we had two fumbles and we had a pick and I can't remember something else that happened. I believe we had three turnovers, a pick and two fumbles. You know, we was playing the commanders and the reps the whole entire game as well, so because they was making BS calls throughout the entire game, you know that one, that one call, that BS call, that hit from CJ that he delivered to Curtis Samuel as he was still in bounce. That was a BS call, and then the missed call from Goddard, you know. But that it is what it is. It was a sloppy game all around, you know. We didn't play to, we didn't play our brand, we didn't play our style of football. So it is what it is. It comes with, it comes with the territory, you know. And so now, now we just. <laughs> We got that out. We got that out of our system. We know how it feels to take a L. So now, let's bounce back now. Let's bounce back. Let's run it up now. You know our magical number. You can do your own research, but you know I'm just here to spew the facts out. Magical number to get to in the regular season. Get 13 wins. We make it to the Super Bowl. Because in 2004, we hit 13 wins. We made it to the Super Bowl. 2017, 13 wins. Made it to the Super Bowl. Just a quick little fun fact that I wanted to put out there to the people, but. Back to the regular schedule programming. You know, it was an ugly win, you know. Uh, by the way, we need to pay CJ. CJ got to get paid. He cannot leave the Eagles facility after this season and not have a contract ready for him. How we, you know, get get to get to your job, baby. You you the best at it. But on the on on the flip side of things, you know, I don't see us. I don't see Slay getting getting dead in again. It don't happen. It it comes with the territory. Playing corner. You gonna get beat, you gonna get your head beat in. It is what it is, but my boy ain't by a long shot. Ain't nowhere near a scrub. My boy, one of the best corners in the league, you know, is it's proven. The proof is in the pudding. He proved it Sunday in and Sunday out, Monday night in and Monday night out. So it is what it is. He just, he just so happily he just, he got got that game. But I don't see that happening ever again for, for, for the remaining of the season. I don't see him getting got for the whole season. I don't see us. Not controlling the line of scrimmage, not controlling the time of possession. Again, I don't. Def I definitely don't see that happening ever again.
for the remaining of the season because our bread and butter is running the ball. We did not really run the ball effectively until the second half with Miles. We did not play our brand of football. Our brand of football is control the line of scrimmage, control the time of possession, and run the fucking ball. That's our MO. That's how we win games because running the ball is going to set everything else up. We didn't do that. Washington killed us on the time of possession. And then on top of that, you know, our takeaways is what is what comes into play when it comes to, you know, us winning games. You know, 80% of the games is one in the trenches. We manhandled the line of scrimmage on the offensive side and the defensive side. So we didn't we didn't get a chance to do that this Monday night. But I don't see that happening again. You know, we definitely have we have all all the damn tools and all the damn players in the right area. We have no weaknesses, but the middle of the field. But that's why we bring in them two space eaters. That's why we bring in them two claws that can be able to fulfill that spot as Jordan Davis trying to get, as Jordan, Jordan Travis, excuse me, Jordan Davis trying to get back right, as I mentioned before. So we're going to, we're going to bounce back. We're going to get down and we're going to make sure we put a lot of teams down because that's, that's, that's how we get down. That's how we get down in Philly. And, that's as, and that is what we're going to continue to do. I don't see us, I don't see Quez making that same boneheaded mistake again. You know, if he didn't jump and leap and he just stay on his feet, run up under the ball, catch it, blur, and he hit his head on the goalpost. And then now we having a whole different discussion. We 9-0 now. I don't, we definitely going to make things shake. We're going to bounce back. You know, we got the coast. We're going into the coast building, you know, Sunday, Sunday afternoon. You know, we're going to handle business, you know. As as usual, but this your boy Miami Duffy. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment.